So I think that there is a fundamental obligation we have. As businesses, we operate with the social permission of society. When we do a good job, we get more permission. And when we do a bad job, we get a lot less permission. I do want to say that the fashion industry is the second largest polluter in the world. And uh, you know we've come to understand this recently. And so what's happening, as we understand and share this information in our, inside our company, is we've unleashed this incredible amount of human potential, mm -hmm. human mm -hmm. energy. And the passion in the company is wide and deep to, to do whatever we can to solve this problem. And I want to say one other thing, because it, you were talking about competition. You know, now we've decided that even if we meet our sustainability goals, we want to be a 100% sustainable company. We want all of our products to be sustainable. But we realize that even if we meet those goals, if we don't share that information with the rest of the industry, you know, we're going to be a, we're a drop in the bucket. We're a half a, not even a half a billion dollar company. It's nothing compared to the size of this industry. And so we have to share. So that's what we're starting to do. We're training the people in the company to be ambassadors, to take this information out to, other, to our competitors. So anyway. Uh, Franck Rabou of uh, Danone, the French group, uh, back in 2000, I remember him saying that he really believes in social commerce and, and versus philanthropy. And I really, liked, I really liked that concept. And so what it does is it brings to doing well by doing good into a, a, a sustainable and perpetual environment just as your enterprise is. And it allows you... Um, uh, the right to be able to make those commitments, make it a part of your operating uh, budgets, et cetera, uh, because you know what you believe in and you've proven over time that it works. But you, you can see.